Hello, Mathieu. Hello. Hello, Cyprien. Thank you very much for coming to this uh, international seminar for Midas and FX in uh, South Korea. I'm glad to be here. Um, can I ask you a few questions about Midas and FX? Sure, sure. Um, just before, I'd like to ask you a question about your own experience uh, in uh, finite element analysis. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it started uh, almost 29 years ago. During uh, my PhD, I was uh, doing some uh, simulation at the very beginning of my career, let's say, simulation career. Then, uh, after I have finished the PhD in the composite field, I start to run my own activity in the field of simulation as a professional engineer. Also, you have a PhD in the composite materials. Yeah. It's yeah. really impressive. No, <laughs> it is a collaboration between uh, the University of Parma, in which I'm actually collaborating, and uh, the University of uh, Belgium, that is uh, KU Leuven, University of Leuven. Mm -hmm. I see. So you are right now a partner of Midas NFX? Yeah, yeah, we just started. <laughs> and uh, I, I've heard that you use intensively the software. Yeah, I'm doing some, uh, let's say, exercise. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually, I'm translating some of my activities into my desk just to see how it works and how it is going. And what, what is your feeling about the software? Uh, really good, really good. The, uh, my really first impression was like, who? Really impressive because uh, because of the measure, because uh, of the also the, the the guide, the user interface that it's really simple, and straightforward. It's good, really good. And about the accuracy of calculation, uh, we have done some uh, tests. I think uh, we we should improve the number of comparisons, but I think it's really it's really good. We we. Uh, we just compared uh, with a uh, few models in Abacus and uh, uh, someone with Nastron. Mm, they are looking quite close together. Nice. So, what makes actually you choose a minus in effect? <laughs> uh, um, oh, for sure, the, um, the usability of the software. It's really simple, the interface. Uh, you just import the CAD, you just apply boundary condition, just to click it will mesh any any geometry. I didn't and I have never had a problem with meshing, so uh, that's really impressive. Also, if I import a, a large part assembly, it would go just click and wait a few minutes and it will do his job. And also the um, the, the um, reliability of the workflow and of the software and of mm -hmm. the results that feels uh, they, they seems to me to be really good. good. I'm really glad to hear you say that. <laughs> I'm glad to say that too. <laughs> Finally I found a software, <laughs> a good one, let's say, you know, wi without any headache at least. <laughs> yes, it's uh, maybe the dream of all the engineers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and in your domestic country, uh, what reaction do you expect about the, your customers? I, I don't know. We will see. I think uh, uh, my re my reaction has been uh, a good surprise. So I think they will uh, react in the same way. And I mean, uh, I think each FEA, FEA software has got uh, is troubles. I mean, uh, is at age. Uh, meshing, uh, running a nonlinear analysis, maybe with contact that never converge and so on. Uh, actually, I didn't have had any of this problem with uh, my das For example, uh, sometimes I'm using Habacus in collaboration with the university, with research and uh, a consulting project from the university. And maybe that sometimes when we have strange models, strange CAD parts, with a lot of features and so on, Abacus uh, stuck into the meshing uh, activity. Uh, Midas never do like that. So, uh, and especially also during the analysis, we didn't have uh, ever any kind of problem. Uh, with all the other software I used, uh, when I launch a contact analysis, I always have to ask, will it go straight forward mm -hmm. as Abacus do? 
And actually, I ask only the first time I launch a uh, contact analysis with Midas, uh, and actually it goes straight forward, and uh, I have had never a problem with mm -hmm. it. So, from what you, you told me, is that you you try to compare Midas and FX with yeah, uh, these yeah. softwares. Yeah, yeah, we have done, uh, yeah, actually not a huge number of uh, benchmarks, let's say, but uh, uh, with some students at the university, we, we just start to compare uh, simple models, you know, uh, models that can be resolved uh, by hand and, uh, mod and compare in comparison with uh, the other software and numbers were good converging between Midas and FX, Habacus and uh, analytical results. So actually we, we would like also to test uh, on large models, maybe with contact, maybe, and uh, I think we, we can uh, do that in the future, near future. Great. And can, can you talk also about your uh, team of students who are actually using NFX? Yeah, for the yeah, yeah, you know that we have the Formula Sci team, Formula Student team in Parma, and uh, actually uh, they are using it uh, really good. Uh, at the beginning, I was a little bit afraid to have to spend a lot of time with them, try to uh, learn to teach them how to use the software. But actually, uh, the head of the simulation uh, part of the team uh, that is doing uh, is uh, also his thesis uh, on Midas and FX. Uh, the day I give you the so I give him the software, he. Uh, just sit on his place, uh, starting to look around, want to talk, uh, one video from YouTube and so on. Uh, and uh, I think it was uh, from 9 a.m. in the morning uh, at about 5 p.m. he comes to me with the first model of uh, the car frame. Uh, okay, linear analysis and so on, uh, but uh, it was completely didn't profit. So, uh, and he had never used a finite element software before. He has only seen the workflow on the on the dashboard, I mean, so impressive. Also, the usability I think for uh, new new simulation guys. Yes, I think it's really impressive. In one day, you can learn uh, so complex. Yeah, and, and, we, and without a background, I mean, just uh, teaching yes, a school yes. background. So, yes, maybe smart, but <laughs> I think the software is smart too. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I ask you a last question? Yep. Um, if you have a favor uh, to add uh, some new feature to NFX, well, what would you add okay. for the future development? Uh, before coming, I was thinking about uh, bid optimization, but mm -hmm. I've seen that it seems to be arriving really soon. Uh, maybe some post-processing tool. I, I knew Nastral FX, and I knew that it has got uh, some feature more than uh, my Dust NFX, but I think it's just time of uh, improving uh, your software that is only two years old but actually with a lot of work done in the simulation in the solver area so uh, I think you will be you are going to do well also in the uh, interface let's say in the post-processing mm -hmm. part let's say. yes you're right we will do always better yeah <laughs> hopefully <laughs> okay thank Th you thank you very much for uh, taking part to this interview. Thank you. And for coming the also to our uh, seminar. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I hope we will see you next time in Korea. Also, I'm waiting for you in Italy. Okay, <laughs> no problem. <Yeah. laughs> okay, thank you. Yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs>